Howdy once again, it's Tubal Cain, your YouTube shop teacher at your service. Now the purpose of this video is, and you will recall that most recently here, I acquired a new 7 inch South Bend Shaper, and then shortly after that, one Mr. Roger Taylor gave me this beautiful little genuine South Bend vise that will fit on the Shaper. There was none on there when I got it, and this is ready to a mount other than it needs a shoulder bolt that will go down here on the bottom and hold this into alignment on the shaper itself. This is the original part sheet that came with the machine showing the vise and then zeroing in here on part number 40 that is the shoulder bolt that I need to reproduce and is the subject of this video. I do not have any dimensions for this, so I'm just taking dimensions off the machine. This bore is 3 quarter inch, the hole in the shaper itself is 5 eighths inch, and I do know the approximate lengths from measuring right here and then also on the shaper to determine what the length of that bolt needs to be, and I'm going to arbitrarily assign a thread to the end of it of one half 20, which is fine. So let's go over to the lathe and get started. Well, that didn't take long, did it? And notice the order of operations in which I 
perform this job. Half 20 thread fits nice. That could have been threaded by the single point method, but it certainly was easier with a die. And this is mild steel. 1018. Let's put it together. Okay, let's see if it works. And I like these heavy duty washers. So that'll go on like that. And the nut. Let's go out in the garage and see how it fits. Not sure if I need a lock washer or not. Works just fine. I need to tighten up. That wrench is probably a little bit too big to get in there. But there are key slots right here, 5 16s, and key slots on the bottom of the vise that will allow it to be uh, indexed or locked in at 90 degrees. But of course it can be used in either direction. Tighten it down. And it is ready to use. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. This is Tubal Kane. I'll see you next time.